Welcome to yet another episode of Food Buffet Report. Today, we're looking at a plate of food that was assembled at a buffet restaurant, and it appears that we're seeing a combination that has never been seen before. And this has inspired a business idea for Bill and I. Notice that this plate, Bill, has a slice of pizza and some oysters. And I wonder if pizza and oysters has ever shared a plate before. So Bill and I have been talking and we're thinking of opening a restaurant that specializes in only pizza and oysters and the beauty of eating them together. Land and sea combined. Those are muscles, actually, you idiot. Not oysters. <laughs> so I don't know if that changes our idea or Gosh. is it pizza and muscles? Muscle, muscles and pizza. And you spell it like, Argh! but it's actually steamed muscles with the delicious broth. And the crust on the pizza that you get with the pizza is designed to dunk in the broth that the muscles come served in ah! and oysters no muscles, just muscles and, muscles i didn't mean to throw your cons up i know you had oysters and pizza but they're not oysters actually i don't okay. i don't think well what's a weirder combination oysters and pizza or muscles and pizza they're both weird, but both would be amazingly successful. Because oysters actually, a single oyster generally cost a great oyster. I'm on the East Coast where there's a beautiful oysters. You can get them all the way up from like, you know, Rhode Island and all those Maine. Can be anywhere from 75 to 90 cents per oyster. Not shucked. Then you shuck them. You sell them for at least $2 each. Pizza is very inexpensive to make as well. It's just bread and sauce and cheese. So high margin business, two favorite things. You love them or you hate them. Everyone loves pizza. Some people don't like oysters, so, though. But a good idea nonetheless, Aaron. Yeah. Buffet style or would it be all you can eat? Uh, no. It would just be a regular restaurant. You'd order a pizza and then you'd select from crustaceans like oysters or mussels that's right they would be completely separate like separate parts of the restaurant no separate plates i mean they wouldn't be on the pizza i don't know never Dude. never mind forget that idea before we go i'd like to point out that whoever's plate of food this is notice on the table in the upper left corner it looks like they've brought a book to read and this book, I can't tell which book it is, but it has a yellow cover. So there's a very good chance that somebody came to this buffet to eat pizza and mussels and is reading Chelsea Pites' book, Talking in Pictures, all about Snapchat. We're talking in pictures. It's a thick yeah. book. Yeah, but we're stupid. I did want to point out before we go that this muscle here looks like a like an old like hobbit or a, a, a ghoul's finger or thumb. There's the nail right there, the fingernail. And then this is the fleshy part of the <laughs> look. Yeah. So if you look long enough at a picture from Buffet Report. You're going to see all kinds of magical things. It's like that picture of those stupid things they send. Find the unicorn in the picture. You stare for a long time. And then on Facebook, you say, I found it. Find the thumb. Find it. It's all subjective. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Thanks again.